Hello everyone. Today, we're going to show you how you can use Cursor's AI capabilities to better understand, analyze, and build dyad models. So here, inside of my Cursor IDE, I'm going to open up the command palette, type out dyad, and select dyad create component library. When prompted, I'm going to give my component library the name AI components. And I'll save this component library inside of this folder on my desktop. Now I have a cursor IDE with the folder structure of my component library exposed. So I'm going to start up the Julia REPL via the command palette. And here inside the Julia REPL, run a set of commands to set up the dyad MCP server. Now that our project is loaded, we'll go ahead and run the analysis using this command right here, result equals Perl. Now that the analysis is done running, let's go ahead and plot the results. So first we're gonna to wanna to do a using plots command to load the plots package. And then we can simply call plot result. Okay, great. So here we see our hello model being uh, used in the world analysis. So here we can see that the model starts at a temperature of 320 and slowly decays to the ambient temperature of 300. And that makes perfect sense because if we look inside of our hello model right here, we can see that the initial temperature is 320 and the ambient temperature is 300. So let's see if this agent can help us a little bit with our plotting. So I'm gonna ask the agent for instructions on how to add X and Y labels to the plot. So it's responding with not only how I can plot with labels, but then it also gives me some other methods and some information on some other keyword arguments that I can use when I plot. But I'll just go ahead and go with the very first option that it's showing me, which is this one right up here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and copy this right here. And what I expect is for when I run this code is for my X label to be the string time, the Y label to be the string temperature, and the title of my plot to be what we see right here. Okay, so I'm just gonna copy and paste that command inside my REPL and run it. Here it is. We can see I have the labels and the title just as the recipe indicated it would have. Now let's say I want to plot or run this analysis with different values for ambient temperature. And I wanna plot the results of those analysis on the same plot. How can we do that? Let's go ahead and ask the agent. Okay, so here I'm just gonna ask the agent how I can run two analyses, one with an ambient temperature of 400 and another with an ambient temperature of five. And I wanna be able to plot these results on the same plot. Okay, once again, it's giving me, um, it did the research, it thought about it, and it's giving me a few different options of how I could do what I'm asking it to do. It has a running analysis separately and combining plots. Looks like it has a slightly more compact version of that and another version with custom coloring and styling. It actually even gives me a method uh, to use arrays for multiple analyses and so on, right? So I'm just gonna go ahead and let's go with the, the compact version right here, okay? So it looks like what we need to do is we need to load the pause package. We've already done that. We run two analyses right here, right? One with an ambient temp of 400, one with an ambient temp of five, and we're gonna store the results of those analyses inside of these variables right here, result one and result two. And then we're able to plot everything um, on the same plot using these commands right here. Simply first plot, the result number one, and then you plot result number two on the same plot, okay? So let's go ahead and just run all these commands. All right, so result one is done. Let's do result two, which is an ambient temp of 500. And then we can go ahead and plot. Looks like with that plotting command, we got the results from the analysis of 400 degrees um, ambient temp on the plot. Now let's run this final one right down here to get the results of the 500 ambient temp run on the plot. And there we have it. We have the result of two analyses, one with an ambient temp of 400, one with one uh, ambient temp of 500. And we see the um, temperature values for both those runs on the same plot. So what we just saw right now is the agent helping us understand the hello model and also helped us with analyzing or running the analysis to this model, as well as handling the plotting artif artifacts afterwards. Now let's see if we can use the agent to help us create a new model. So what I'm gonna do right here is I'm gonna ask it to create an RLC circuit using standard library components. And remember at the very beginning, we added the electrical components library and the block components library. We added those to make them available um, for the agent to use. Here, I'm gonna ask the agent to create 
me a simple RLC circuit using components from the standard library. So next, I'm going to ask the agent to create me a simple RLC circuit in Dyad. So over here on the right side, I'll go ahead and ask that question, but I'm going to make sure that the rule which tells the agent how to respond to questions about generating components is included. So this generate diet component rule right here, I'm just going to select it right here just to make sure it's included um, so that the agent knows how to respond. And just as a reminder, remember all these rules, they live right over here. So I'm going to ask the agent. Okay, great. In summary, it's saying it successfully created a simple RLC circuit. It's telling us what um, components it used. It looks like it pulled a few components from the electrical components library, just like we wanted, discussing some key features of the model it created and how to use this model. But let's go ahead and take a look at it. So we'll see over here that the model is right there. And here we have a simple um, series RLC circuit component. We have a resistor, capacitor, inductor, um, as well as a source ground and voltage input components. Here we have some initial conditions for the current through the inductor as well as the voltage across the capacitor. And then here we have various connect statements, which is connecting the voltage import um, input to the voltage source and connecting all the circuit connections between the resistor, inductor, and capacitor. Okay, so it looks like we have our circuit right here. And this file has no errors, which is great. So now let's go ahead and ask it how we can analyze this model. So I'm going to ask it to make me an analysis. Okay, so it looks like two new files were added to our folder structure. Let's take a look at this first one. So this is a component, simple RLC analysis. So this is a model, even though it's named analysis right here. Um, in the name, this is a component right here. This component looks like it consists of a RLC circuit, right? The R same RLC circuit that we created over here. And it also has a step voltage input to the RLC circuit. And then we connect the input to the circuit using this command right here. Okay, so this simple RLC analysis component hooks up a simple RLC circuit to a step input component. So now if we go into this file right here, simple RLC transient analysis, we can see that this analysis simple RLC transient analysis. This is an analysis, right? It extends the transient analysis type and the model it's using is the simple RLC analysis model, which is this model right here. And remember this model right here uses the model that we created. So let's go ahead and run this analysis right now. So over here on the right side, it shows us how we can run the model. We need to do a using AI components, which we've already done. And then we can call the analysis like so. Now that the analysis is done, we can plot the results using the same plotting command we've used previously, plot result. And here we have it, result of our analysis. We have the voltage across the capacitor throughout the entire simulation, as well as the current through the inductor. And we can see that the initial values of the current across the or through the inductor and voltage across the capacitor are both zero as stated in our initial conditions. In summary, what we did today was we showed how the cursor agent can help us understand the hello model, how it can explain to us how we can analyze the model and plot those results, helping us with you know plotting labels, titles, and so on. It was able to create for us a RLC model as well as an analysis to go with that model. Thanks for joining, and I hope you can see how cursor can be used to accelerate your diet modeling.